Hey everyone, Justin Brawl here. I'm giving you my anime review of episode 3 of Black Clover. To, to the road of the Royal Kingdom. Actually, to the Royal Capital of the Clover Kingdom. Very long time there, bud. Basically, it was just... There's nothing can to the manga. There's really nothing can to the manga here. This is all specific... thing specifically was a heavy filler s episode. Because when I, I started reading the manga to right now to this point, and my mind like... Somewhere like 10 chapters in, maybe less than that, I'm not too sure. But I don't remember seeing the boys actually make it all, actually go through a few long trail in order to make it to the capital. But in this episode, we managed to see exactly what Asa and Yuno had to go through in order to get to the capital. But before that, before we get into the whole journey part, we had to go start with the beginning of the episode, of course, and start off with an, ex an exposition of how the Wizard King came to be. At first, I thought I was looking, looking. That was really weird to see a giant demon, a giant demon, or a kaiju, however you want to call it. I think most, most people call it a demon, not a kaiju. I'm sorry for that. A demon destroying a destroying a city or a village, not say a village, and next thing you know, the with the fatal wizard shows up and takes it down. It took it down. First, it was able to throw some very holy attacks on it, but it didn't do nothing. Then I saw a sword that reminded me of the Souls of Revealing from the Yu-Gi-Oh card, from the Yu-Gi-Oh spell card. Still within it, and managed to destroy it, which now became the huge legend Wizard King. And how he defeated the demon. And that's how the narrator described it. And now we get to see some train, run, a train segments between Asa swinging the sword constantly to a tree bark, and Yu know, using wind magic. To cut down some logs, and they will keep more practicing on it to see who can get better guys. Knowing the fact that these two are still rivals, they do not want one, they don't want the other to one up each other. They don't want the one to one up him. And that's a better way to describe it. And looking forward to watching this whole episode, I'm pretty sure you know will excel will, will excel heavily on wind magic. I'm pretty sure in many down the manga he will learn more, master another mad form magic. But I'm pretty sure right now wind is more like his forte. So he will be a wooden wizard for now. And Asa's sword, of course, no has abilities to reflect and nullify magic, but laying down in the manga, I'm pretty sure there's more to it than anything else. We need some more clarification on exactly what that demon is. But I should not say this episode was filler, because there was this one point in the episode where you see the more, more father and sister Lily met up with the Tower Master. They didn't exactly say they didn't mention the fact that. And I should prefer to get to the Grimoire, they were talking about the fact that Asta has a better chance of success. No, you know had a better chance of success than Asta. But the big problem was seeing Asta's Grimoire, not knowing exactly what that Grimoire is. But Time Master looked at it and reminded himself, like, wait, it can't be that. So there's more to the specifically history with that Grimoire that we do not know yet. At least for anyone who watched the version of the manga, they might have explained that at some point later. Which I might have to keep up with that since there are 120 chapters in, and I'm more in the double digit, close to double digits. So that was that again. Like some more are camped in the manga, back to the full extent. And we we're just left with a tease exactly, mostly how dangerous that grimoire can be. And now moving forward, we finally have more clever. So now after the whole thing was all said, and after all that was done, we get to see a train. That's a train mark. Not a dream one. Now, if you had to see, actually see it, the last dinner that these two had together with the, with the church. But one point I was about it during the episode of Nash, when Nash, this little boy named Nash, with a spiky orange hair, spike orange hair, he complains to Asta that poor killers don't have the right to dream that big. But Asta tells him, you can't just give up that easily. You gotta push yourself in order to make your dreams come true. Getting Nash but it's a hope that inside that you know had Asta. It's from the sticks. He's basically from the sticks of the village, of the kingdom. But he has no magic capability. But he still seeks to become the wizard king. So seeing awesome move him, move forward to just a higher goal that no one would expect him to be, gives Nash a sense of hope that he can make it. And the family of the church sends these people off. We get sends both Austin and Yino off to the capital to see him. It's you know, all we see a small flashback to when, well, two flashbacks when Asta and Yuno meet Lily for the first time. 
And even as a kid, uh, so, so my police marry me, and she just pounds him with her, with her magic. So clearly by accident. But, you know, it became a boring thing. And I got to see her use the healing magic to his face, and that moment, that was also the moment when she saw him, knows that, you know, we'll get stronger because of Asta. And during the whole episode, we get to see, you know, maybe the whole episode, we get to see Asta and, you know, travel to the capital, go into all the searchers from eating board meat, kind of rocks, racing for cardio work. All the works until he finally made it. And he also ends up there with a tease to what we're going to see some characters. While well, previously we were focusing on the actual exam, with a small tidbit of the capital itself. But doesn't matter how old. And during the beginning of the, before I end this video, I want to point out the fact that during the beginning of the episodes, beginning of this episode, there are points up to other factions of the backing knights. Just from all the cap, just from all those, from all the knight squads, and from what we saw from all the from the, oh, from the actual opening of the episode, for all the sex, all the magic knights were all sectioned off in different squads, different groups. Just from myself from the manga, I could tell that the group that Asta is going to be part of, most likely is one of those groups who basically can not, I want to technically consider the runts. But more like one of those guys are way, way too odd uh, compared to everyone else. Then again, that's why I saw from one group, I don't have to about the rest. I mean, the next episode we'll have the actual exam. We get to see exactly what kind of group that Asta is going to get involved with. So right now, this episode was basically, was basically a filler to the actual journey these two had, but that was not shown in the manga, because in the manga, we just went straight right into the exam. And you're going to see a little tip of some characters that we're going to see appear later in the episode. Some characters that most likely we're going to focus with Asta, and some that, we, that you want to get involved with. And we're going to see the actual, the actual appearance of the Wizard King, the current Wizard King. That's not currently the guy who's going to most likely lie again again. For those who are Emily Watchers, I can't say. But we have to wait until it's next week. So until then, leave a like, subscribe, and all those other friends. And I'll see you all next time for when Food Wars comes down later in the day. So until then, see you guys then. Laters.